Oddly enough, his first and second fatality is justified. He's only there to strike fear in the hearts of criminals. He doesn't kill, even though there's many, many situations where he should. But nonetheless, welcome to another episode of the RV Man LP Exhibition. In the last episode, The Flash felt the wrath of the Batman, a la Bat Taser. So get your bat bolas, batterings, bat shark repellents, and your bat credit cards ready. Because this is going to be one hell of an episode. And now it's time to start Chapter 2 with Batman in the Batcave. the cave why did you attack me listen I'm sorry I don't know what happened I just felt this rage it overwhelmed me I couldn't stop myself what are you doing in Gotham Wonder Woman asked me to help and that's when Catwoman and that other guy showed up I'd like to run some tests I told you I'm oh no yeah what's happening get away I can't control yeah Deal with DC's poster boy. Well, other than Superman. Anyway, Batman has two types of batarangs. The first batarang he can throw past the opponent and it'll smack him in the back of the head. The second, or her in the back of the head, because there are females in this game. The second batarang he can just throw straight forward at the opponent. He also has the smoke bomb, which he can just take a step back and it will temporarily daze the opponent. This move ends up being a derivative to smoke. Also, he has that slide there. Something identical to Scorpion. And ends up becoming Scorpion's uh, enhanced move. Whereas Batman slides, grabs the opponent's leg, and slams his face backwards and forwards. Well, slams on face first, then head first. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, he also has a move where... When he throws a smoke bomb, he teleports and lands on the opponent. Fight. So how is Batman's game style? Oh wait, I almost forgot, he also has a uh, roundhouse kick. So how basically is Batman's game style? It's a little bit tricky. I mean, you have to use cunning and strategy because after all, Scorpion is probably the better character of this series other than Raiden and Liu Kang. And that's a lot to say for. I mean, you need to use your skills for Superman. Although I did demonstrate like some of the moves I was talking about, I still tended to miss. But um, as far as for dealing with the DC characters, with Superman, you'll have to use cunning for him. And also, you'll have to use cunning for Wonder Woman and for Captain Marvel. Boy, do you need cunning for Captain Marvel. It's as quick as Captain Marvel can be down to a third of his health, but if you actually play Batman right, it's as quick as it can turn the tide of a battle. So as far as Batman is concerned, you can spam moves all you like, you just gotta be careful about it. And by careful, I mean, uh, they will block. And that's the opponent and the computer. 
but pick your spots and you'll do fine. Whatever Scorpion is, Wonder Woman, it isn't human. What about Flash? I believe Flash and this Scorpion creature switched places through some kind of teleportation event. Keep me informed of your progress. I will. Batman out. Another energy anomaly similar to that of Scorpion's frequency? In the heart of Gotham. Joker. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time before these two fought. I mean, come on. You just can't have a Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe game with both Joker and Batman on the same game and without these two fighting. Yet somehow they managed to make it to where Lex Luthor and Superman never fight in the DC storyline. How did they manage to accomplish that? I don't know. But one thing is for sure, when we come across Joker, yes we will come across Joker, I will discuss more about the Joker. The Clown Prince of Crime. It's times like this I wish that I wasn't afraid of uh, copyright infringement, that I would just put the 1960s Batman theme right here, just for this exact fight. I mean that would be funny as hell. Just as funny as that! Anyway... One thing can be said about Batman. Batman was a lot of things. He was a vampire. He was... Electrocuted by Joker's handshake on many occasions. He was a knight? He was a caveman! Hell... I do believe one point... Batman was... How should I put it? Wanted for murder. And it wasn't even his fault. And what the hell, Joker? And anyway, let's see. What else Batman was? Oh yeah, he was able to do something that nobody could ever do with the exception of Shazam. And that was defeat Superman. Yeah, and you think Joker stood a chance? I've heard that before. This night just keeps getting better and better. Stay where you are. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Who are you? I am Liu Kang. Are you injured? I can help you. I thought I defeated you, Sorcerer! By the Elder Gods, I will finish you! Uh-oh. Liu Kang thinks we're Shang Tsung. In case everybody's wondering how Liu Kang got to Gotham City, refer back to episode 116, where Shang Tsung was fighting Liu Kang, and after Liu Kang defeated Shang Tsung, the Flash ended up taking his place via the combat rage. So... Now, we're fighting the champion of Mortal Kombat and one of the poster boys of Mortal Kombat until he became a zombie. So, this is not good in my hand. I'm losing badly. And I just lost via rage. That is ridiculous. It's as if the computer is just like opening up a can of whip ass on me. And I can't figure out why. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not actually striking back or blocking Test your heart. by the way that was sarcasm I was using because my skills it's just horrible at that time I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses 
the computer just went beast mode on me and I really was not prepared for it. At least I landed a hit on him though. And now to lose. Uh, see you guys when I win! Now it's time to give Liu Kang a bat bitch lap. I mean, after all, that was BS. Well, the bat roundhouse works too. No Joker, and no Scorpion. Your little distraction means two deadly menaces are out on the loose. At least you're not going anywhere. Green Lantern, this is Batman. I have a prisoner I need to examine in a secure location. I need an extraction to the UN Orbital Station. I've been having problems with my ring. It may have been damaged during the battle with Darkseid, but I still should be able to transport you. Give me a minute. Something about him isn't making sense. I could buy that Scorpion came from Apocalypse, but this man is different. According to you, Flash had the same kind of psychotic condition. I'm not sure, but we may be witnessing the beginning of another invasion. I'll leave the detective work to you. I'm going to look for Superman. Computer, run the blood sample from Liu Kang against the known alien blood types we have in the database. No matches to blood type. Hmm. I need to know if we should expect any more visitors. Places Liu Kang and Scorpion. How is it possible? Insulated armor. You will release Liu Kang. First, I need answers. Release Liu Kang, or I will take him from you. Well, he took on the closest thing to God, which is Superman and Darkseid, and actually won. Let's see if he could actually beat an actual God. Maybe that's the reason why Ed Boon had this fight. Or maybe that's because DC wanted it. I don't know. One thing is for sure, Raiden is certainly kicking my ass. And that is not a good thing. Wow, I didn't even get out the gate and only got like a few hits on him. Damn. I had a combo breaker. Pass me, why didn't you use it? Oh yeah, that's right. I was jumping in. Oh! That's not cool. This is gonna be repetitive. I'm not gonna lose again. Hopefully. I can't make any guarantees on that because I am being trapped in the corner here. Uh, it's King Lion all over again. I'll see you guys when I win. Ridiculous. And off screen, I sprayed Raiden with my Bat God repellent. And Batman is victorious. Artifacts appearing. 
But the question still remains, where is Superman? That's a good question. Where are you, Superman? Ah, after fighting an undead specter, the god of useless, an angry Mortal Kombat champion, and the Joker, Batman's gonna need a bat vacation. This is Harvey Man 985. See you guys in episode 125 when we take on one third of the unholy trinity, Wonder Woman. Oh lord. Hopefully, I don't die as much this time around. See you guys next time.